I just came across this application. I thought, damn, that's really good. The, the meeting host could be, Jeff, I thought you were doing the meeting notes. He said, I am doing the meeting notes. Well, how come you not type it away? Because he doesn't have to. He can use otter.ai. Hey, welcome back to Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create automatic meeting notes for your Zoom, your Cisco WebEx, your Google Meet, your Microsoft Teams on the fly. So the app that we're gonna be talking about is otter.ai. So that's O-T-T-E-R.ai. You can use it on the web, or I've downloaded the um, iPad version here, the iPad OS version. I'm gonna show you how to use it. It's absolutely free, by the way. Um, what it does is it creates automatic transcriptions of your meetings to create meeting notes or interview notes using AI. And why it does AI, because it does um, cancel out background noises, sound that isn't spoken word. So I'm gonna show you this in action. This is the application. If you go to the App Store, you can download this for free. So Otter automates meeting notes for Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and more. Stay connected and collaborate with your work from home. With the meeting notes, when it transcribes the meeting notes, you can add people to collaborate to it so that they can, uh, let's say, you know, you want Jeff to write the meeting notes. You can transcribe your meeting notes automatically using Otter. It could be as simple as you're a student and you want to transcribe your teacher's lecture notes. Uh, and you can do this for free. Okay, so you've got 600 minutes here. So with Otter, you'll have 600 minutes for free that you can transcribe. So that's, if, if you think about a working month, okay, that's 20 days in a month, that's 30 minutes a day. Now you might not wanna go online and transcribe your math teacher's lecture notes, okay? It might be something like humanities or sociology or something. You know, maybe you've got a history lesson and you wanna transcribe 20 minutes of the teacher's lectures. Um, and so you can do this auto, uh, completely automatically. Let's go ahead and show you how this is done, right? As per usual, I'm gonna to go to my Google Meet. I'm gonna start a meeting. So let's go ahead and join and start a meeting. I don't really care for a nickname. I wanna press and continue. Um, and so do what you need to do to start your meeting anyway. Maybe it's a already scheduled meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and join this. Uh, I've joined that meeting now. I can share this meeting code out. Otter is a standalone application. It's got nothing to do with whatever web conferencing you're using or whatever you, know, whatever you wanna transcribe. So what it really does is it records your audio and it tra transcribes that to text. So let me show you in action. This is how I would use it. So I've got my meeting going on. And what I'm gonna do is at the same time, I'm gonna bring Otter uh, over here. So here you can see that I've got 597 minutes left. This is on a free um, account. I haven't upgraded to the pro account. Uh, and you don't really need to, as long as you're getting your transcriptions for free, 600 minutes a month, which is about 30 minutes a day. So let's go ahead, we're gonna start a new recording. I'm gonna go ahead and click down here. Okay, so now it's recording. I've pressed press and recording. So here I've got my Google Me, okay? And I've got my participants who are here. And you can see at the same time, I'm, it's transcribing all of the text. Now if I stop talking for a minute, it's gonna pick up from where I left off. What's great about this, it gives you a little timestamp as well. So at two seconds, I said this, and 19 seconds, someone else said this, and so on and so forth. The AI, why is the AI, look, it's not gonna pick up background noise, okay? So non-spoken words, for example, if I start clapping or clicking. It's not gonna pick up any of that stuff, okay? Because that's not spoken word. The AI engine here is not transcribing any of that sound um, and mixing it up with spoken word, which is brilliant. You could be humming or having some background tunes, okay? la 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 all of that type of stuff uh oh there it's picked up my la 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 <laughs> that's good but if you are humming or some music that's non-spoken it's not going to pick it up okay so some instrumental or some musical instruments is not going to pick that up in the trans transcribed um word here yeah so this is great okay what can we do with it now I've, I've demonstrated enough that we can use it with a google meet you can use it with zoom you can use it with um, microsoft teams whatever application you want to use it with you could do it standalone as well. I don't need to have this meet. The whole point of it is though, let's say I was doing an interview with someone and I wanted to um, have a transcript of um, the meeting notes, okay? Or, hey, Jeff, you know, it's, it's Jeff's turn to do the meeting notes. He's gonna be sitting there typing away. Now, if you used otter.ai, he can get the meeting notes, a transcript of the meeting notes for free seamlessly. The, the meeting host could be, Jeff, I thought you were doing the meeting notes. He's like, I am doing the meeting notes. Well, how come you're not typing away? because he doesn't have to. He can use otter.ai. Now, this isn't a sponsored ad uh, for otter.ai. I just, I just came across this application. I thought, damn, that's really good. Um, anyway, 
let's cut this call and let me show you what you can do with um, the notes now, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the notes here. Since I'm on the iPad, I'm using the iPad OS application here. You can use it through the web interface, okay? So I'm gonna go to uh, my notes that I've taken. So let me go ahead and look at my conversations. Um, here we go. The latest one I've just done is this one here. This is the conversation that I've got. And you can see all of the meeting notes. There's a transcript of the meeting notes and it's, it has timestamps. What's brilliant about that is I, can, I know that the first five minutes of that meeting was irrelevant. It wasn't, um, there was no action points there. So maybe I'm taking a few notes on a sticky, okay, on a sticky uh, note and I'm writing some things down. I'm Jeff and I'm saying, you know what? First five minutes was, was useless. I'm not gonna include that in the meeting, um, in the meeting notes. So the transcript here using the timestamp is really good because you know using this timestamp, I know what the key points were, the highlights were. Certain topics of the agenda that you had in the meeting, you can go and highlight some keywords. So for example, I could, you know, la la la. I said la 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 at some point. It could, it could highlight that. You could start your, um, your meeting notes from la la la. Uh, another good thing here is, let me just cancel that out. Uh, if I press on the three dots in the top right hand corner, I can do a word cloud, which is brilliant. I can see like what the, the, the common or popular words here, what's the, the mode of the words. Uh, look, I said AI a few times. I said transcribing. Uh, word cloud is really nice. You can take a screenshot of the word cloud uh, and put that up there. And you can say, hey guys, what words do you think that we use most common in our meetings? Do a little word cloud and put that up there, okay? Are we hitting on those keywords or, that, or the command terms in our meeting? Okay, so what can I do with this? I can uh, go ahead and edit some of the words. So if I click on the edit button here, I could click on something here and I could change. So I said, okay, so now we're, maybe I don't want that okay, I can delete that. Great, you can edit it. What else can you do? You can collaborate with others. So if I wanna go ahead and collaborate, I've hidden my email here, that's okay, I wanna share it anyway. So if I share this with someone, I can choose whether they can just view the document, they can make comments or they can edit. I'm gonna go ahead and say they can edit this, okay, because I think Mr. Beard over here is gonna be the one who's gonna, I'm gonna send this to. So if I send this out, that's gonna send an email out to Beard. He's gonna get the transcript and he can edit that as well, okay? That's brilliant. What else can I do? I can print this out. Uh, I can export it, okay? I can add to groups so people can collaborate with this. Uh, I can hide the timestamps like that, just hide the timestamps. However, I do wanna keep the timestamps. I find the timestamps quite useful. Oh, at seven minutes, this was said. I wanna go back and check that out. So on the transcript here, I know that I can just go to seven minutes or whatever. And this is all for free, guys. Yeah, it's absolutely free, man. Rematch speakers. So let's say there were other speakers that were talking. You can go in and change the speaker's names. And let me see if I'm gonna show you that. So if I click on this speaker, I can add a tag here. So add a speaker's name or add a tag. For example, let's just say, Let's say this is Jeff, okay? So that's tagged as Jeff. So this conversation here, this part here, the AI engine, it, wherever it picks up that voice, is gonna tag it as Jeff, okay? Anyway, let's go ahead and export this again. So export, and I'm gonna export the text, and I'm gonna export it as a TXT file. Okay, where can I export this? A couple of options before I do export it. So include speakers' names, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Include timestamps, very important to include timestamps and then merge uh, same speakers segments. I don't wanna merge them, I wanna keep them separate and then export as a monologue. Uh, this isn't a monologue, this is a conversation between several parties in this meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with this. I remember this is my TXT format. Plain text and TXT are the formats that are available on the free account and then you've got PDF, um, DOCX and STR. Uh, to be fair, plain text and, and um, TXT are perfectly fine, okay? And now you've got a couple of options here, so you can include the speaker's names. So let's go ahead and continue. Where can I put it? In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and see what options I have here. I can throw it in uh, Notes, in Apple Notes. Uh, let's go ahead and press Save. If I go to my Apple Notes here now, and I go to that new note, I can see that I've got that transcript of the conversation. This is on Notes. I can, Open it anyway, I can open it on pages if I really wanted to, and other applications as well. And remember, this is just basic text, so you can do it as plain text. So imagine you are a student sitting in class, okay, you're distance learning or an, a company and you're interviewing someone online and you wanna have a transcript of uh, the meeting notes. You can do it absolutely seamlessly, automatically, using otter.ai. Give it a go for yourself, it's absolutely free. This is not a sponsored ad. Consider subscribing if you're into simplifying educational tech. A lot of people right now are trying to upskill. 
uh, with distance learning, on-ride, hybrid and blended classrooms. Uh, check out the channel, I've got a few playlists on, on all of that stuff. Uh, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.